it appears some light has finally been shed on how R. Kelly's cellmate, Ronnie Bo, was shot after he exposed Jay-Z. Allegedly, R. Kelly was the one who shared this along with his experience. Ronnie Bow has been reported shot guys. Yes, yes, you heard it. I was one of the ones that was more so close to him. So you know he felt like Jay-Z was kind of insecure because R. Kelly at the time was technically bigger than him. Behind bars details Bo's interactions with his cellmate and an astonishing occurrence that exposed a previously unknown side of Jay-Z. In June 2019, a young aspiring author named Ronnie Bo visited the institution in search of literary inspiration. Kelly, R., even though Ronnie and R. Kelly were not actual cellmates, they shared the same prison for a period of two years. He joined sometime between September and October of the same year, drawing attention because of the seriousness of the allegations against him. Ronnie was out there waving the flag of innocence for R. Kelly, swearing up and down that those charges were nothing but hot air, and even fancied himself as Kell advocate pushing for a kosher spot in the slammer. But R. Kelly wasn't buying it, and it's understandable given that he'd been burned more times than a campfire marshmallow. But Ronnie was like a dog with a bone anxious to gain Kelly's trust, and you won't believe the depths he went to. Talk about playing with fire. He even persuaded several hardcore prisoners to attest to his trustworthiness. Turns out that maneuver completely backfired on him because Kelly believed he was trying to blackmail her for money. But despite the spectacular failures, Ronnie managed to pull off the seemingly impossible by developing a bromance with Kelly. They exchanged heart-to-hearts and revealed their darkest secrets on Behind Bars. And Kelly even revealed all of his professional ties in what amounted to a backstage pass confessional. However, there is a twist. Ronnie subtly inserted those outrageous tales from the eye-opening book revelations into his own book, Grind, Now Shine Later. R. Kelly's stay in the slammer was like his own private therapy session rather than just a time for legal disputes. Ronnie curses Kelly became very contemplative. Behind Bars offers advice on music industry disputes and provides context by spilling the beans on that storied Jay-Z collaboration. The best of both worlds in 2002 and its follow-up, Unfinished Business, were released by the pair in the early to mid-2000s. At the time, everyone knew that Jay-Z and R. Kelly were working together on the record's best of both worlds touring and Basketball World's albums. Despite promising beginnings, their relationship soared on a co-headlining tour that swiftly turned chaotic, as you can see. R. Kelly found himself feeling threatened by certain individuals in the crowd, Having already received threats prior to the performance, his anxiety heightened as he observed suspicious behavior among some attendees, the atmosphere grew tense, and R. Kelly's concern for his safety became a pressing issue despite his attempts to alert the security personnel. His concerns were unfortunately dismissed with a sense of unease and a lack of support he took a moment to address the audience expressing his apologies for having to abruptly depart the stage before making his exit. As if that wasn't enough, he was pepper sprayed by Tyron Ty Ty Smith, a close friend of Jay-Z. On his way back to the stage, this incident marked the beginning of the end for their tumultuous relationship. Meanwhile, the disappointment and frustration were palpable both for R. Kelly and his fans who were eagerly anticipating the performance, the incident is particularly shocking due to R. Kelly's belief that Jay-Z played a role in the threats against him. He perceived Jay-Z's actions as an attempt to harm him during the tour. Although the exact motivations remain unclear, this unexpected turn of events led to a schism between the two musicians, with Jay-Z allegedly venting his resentment over R. Kelly's abrupt exit following the tour's demise. Legal disputes followed. R. Kelly accused his former tour mate of breach of contract and brought a stunning $75 million lawsuit against him. 
It was not unexpected to see that Ronnie Bo's revelation brought still another dimension to this already complex story of treachery and rivalry, because this lawsuit not only revealed their worsening business relationships, but also hinted of the underlying conflicts between the two artists. Although Bo's story of Kelly's suspicion that Jay-Z plotted to kill him might sound improbable, it provides a look into the psychological drama that might develop. The competitive nature of the music industry, along with individual egos and old grudges, can foster suspicions that may seem unreasonable to outsiders. Kelly's perception of Jay-Z's motive possibly linked to a perceived power shift between the two artists at the time sheds light on the vulnerabilities and insecurities that even successful musicians can harbor. Meanwhile, fans have commented on this, with one particular fan claiming anyone that knows the story of when the world tour went wrong and R. Kelly sued Jay-Z for $75 million, and all of a sudden the lady producing Surviving R. Kelly documentary, being well-connected to Jay-Z, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some truth to this story not saying R. Kelly is innocent or a saint himself, but Jay-Z is known for trying to destroy other artists' careers, especially those he saw as a competitive threat, whether they're rappers or R&B singers. And believe me, R. Kelly was way bigger back than than Jay in terms of popularity and impact R. Kelly is still bigger in terms of impact even till today. But not so much popularity anymore because his crazy-ish he's been doing a second fan gave their perspective on the best of both World World Tour, saying I believe that Jay-Z was jealous of R.K. When Kells returned to the stage without any music and delivered the longest ass rap I've ever heard without pausing to breathe, cough, or do anything else, the entire Cleveland, Ohio venue stood up and applauded. I remember that standing ovation being so loud I felt that vibration all throughout my chest during that Best of Both Worlds tour that year. Jay-Z came out on stage and performed okay, but was trash-talking about how nobody could rap like him and how he was the best. His record labels are the target of a continuous garnishment writ filed by Brooklyn, New York, prosecutors. This legal action tries to recover the funds due as part of a judgment against Kelly. The outstanding balance on the judgment as of June 1, 2023, is the staggering figure of $544,289, plus interest. Sony Music Entertainment is one of the primary stakeholders in this financial conflict. The court's decision to target Sony with a writ of continued garnishment highlights the desperate efforts to recoup money owed to Kelly's victims. Sony is the record label that was crucial to R. Kelly's success. Unexpected developments in the legal dispute have dragged record companies into a scandal and unpaid debt quagmire. Intriguingly, in the wake of R. Kelly's financial collapse, a different courtroom, it has been revealed that in March, the Illinois Supreme Court allowed Heather Williams, one of Kelly's victims of sexual assault, access to his label fund which in 2020 was expected to be worth about $1.5 million. Due to a different judgment about overdue rent on a Chicago studio, Williams was able to collect a share of the funds before another creditor, Midwest Commercial Funding, could do so. R. Kelly's financial difficulties have become more complicated as a result of this legal maneuvering which has exposed the complex web of claims and counterclaims that have ensnared his assets. R. Kelly's claimed victims seek both monetary recompense and a sense of justice, as shown in Williams' legal victory, which highlights the efforts of the judicial system to make amends for their losses. The overlapping of legal disputes, financial disagreements, and accusations of criminal conduct are part of a gripping story that keeps people interested. In any case, the world of music frequently acts as a backdrop for compelling stories that transcend the allegations made by R. Kelly that Jay-Z allegedly tried to have him silenced are heard over the melodies and rhythms. 
adding a dramatic twist to an already complicated story. Story of rivalry and treachery has legal disputes and financial difficulties progress whether these allegations are true or are simply the result of a troubled mind. The lives of these two artists continue to be intertwined in unexpected and captivating ways.